And all of us are looking forward to tonight's game. Many of you may actually watch the game end tonight, and you may think about ordering out, but that could be a really long wait. Our Andres Gutierrez joins us now live with the fans down at Power and Light. Uh, you know, I guess the fans will start to trickle in here in a little bit. Andres, tell us what, what's going on with the uh, food orders tonight. Good, good evening, Jody. On at this point, we are only a few hours away from the first pitch, but fans are already beginning to arrive here at the Power and Light District. All these folks here will be able to see the game on jumbo screens. They're calling this the biggest watch party in our area. The bars and restaurants here will feed and serve fans, and they're not alone. Business owners say they've been busy ever since the world's made it into the playoffs. Over at Minsky's Pizza, their delivery and carryout orders have doubled. They've had to call an extra staff to keep up with the demand, and those extra pizzas mean more supplies like flour and cheese. But the general manager says they've stayed open late because the last two games have gone into extra innings. All the business has caught some people by surprise. Yeah, you know, I expected good things from them this year, but I'm happy to see them end the drought. So, you know, as far as business goes, nobody knew what to expect because it's been so long since we've been there. So, but we're happy to have it. And now there will be some extra security here to keep the fans safe. And we'll be out here from the first pitch to the last, hoping for a Royals win. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City, I'm Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.